Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Good morning. I hope everybody's doing good today. Happy Tuesday. So I want to come on here and do a follow up on everything that we talked about yesterday on the live stream concerning D.L. Hughley and Monique. So now the full audio is out of D.L. Hughley basically addressing the Monique situation. So let me go ahead and give y'all a flashback of what went down this week. So what happened to cause D.L. to basically respond to Monique once again is the fact that Monique took to her social media page and she tried to weaponize the trauma that D.L.'s daughter went through. Um, DL spoke about it on the Sway in the Morning show. She tried to weaponize that for her own purposes, for her own gain. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this flashback, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So now this is what happened today. Monique decided to post on her page a video of DL Hughley. He did an interview about Bill Cosby. This was about maybe three, four years ago on the Sway in the Morning show because I watched this interview. Um... And he talked about his situation with Bill Cosby and how when men get to a certain level or people in positions of power, um, it could be entertainment, it could be pastors, priests. Um, after a while, they seem to think that they're beyond reproach and even people treat them like they're beyond reproach. So I'm going to read to you guys what Mo posted this morning. She posted the videos and then she says, this is based upon DL's own words that you heard. At Real DL Hughley, when you said, how can DL's wife suck the peen of a coward? This is what I meant. When my husband and I say we have to fight for little girls coming up behind us, you see DL didn't believe his own daughter over a friend because he seemingly liked his friend more than he loved his own daughter and didn't want to be bothered by the inconvenient truth. This highlights why the black woman isn't believed. And when she publicly speaks about her trauma, what does the black woman and his DL's Black wife have come in. Watch who stands with this man. And you're looking at the same ones who will sit down when our sisters are being attacked. I find it funny that DL will call out Ice Cube, Kanye, Rizzo Islam, Angela Staten, myself, etc. But he won't call out the names of the person that violated his daughter. This is what happens for people who said, I just need to let things go. P.S. Thank you, Amher S. We love us for real. Sydney Hicks, Monique Hicks. All right, so you guys just saw that flashback. So, of course, after that went viral, I did my video. I stated my opinion on the situation. And so a short while later, DL's older daughter, um, Brown Sugar Bourbon, she came out addressing Monique. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys again what she had to say. She says, I am Ryan Nicole Shepard, DL and LaDonna Hughley's eldest daughter. You've now publicly disrespected my mother, who I love and care for very much, and my baby sister, who I love and care for very much, to get back at my father, who I love and respect and care for very much. At this point, I feel like you are asking my family and myself to act out of character. Out of all the things you could have legitimately said about my dad, if that was the route that if that was the route that you wanted to go, you chose to deliberately be mean and hurtful to two black women who have nothing to do with this conversation. Using my mama and my sister to show people my father's character only shows how little mental stability, dignity, morality, and respect you have for not only yourself, but other black women. You're clearly two crayons. <laughs> this is so funny to me. You're clearly two crayons short of a full box, sis. You're disgusting and you absolutely need to keep every single member of my family's name out of your poisonous mouth. Not because you can do us harm because you can't, but because you are adding to the historical and systematic disrespect and trauma of other black women who you claim to love. And for what, a check? You're bringing up trauma for a concert lineup discrepancy? All you've done is proven that you have no moral compass. Nothing is too far in your quest to prove a point, and I'm blessed that my parents raised children who have no idea how you could possibly go here. We Hughleys are going to have a good-ass day and a blessed life. We are healed, we are whole, and we love each other fiercely and deeply. You can continue to live in that scorched earth kingdom of yours. Get some help, ma'am, for real. Oh, and if you want to have this conversation in person... I'll happily give you my address. And then DL replies and he says, the love between our family is evident and clear. While I am beyond proud of the way my eldest daughter, Brown Sugar, 
brown sugar and bourbon, handled this disgusting attack. This is not their fight, and they have been repeatedly attacked for no reason. This needs to end. I'll speak my mind on this later on today. So that is what DL said. So then, of course, Monique comes back with the gaslighting tactics, and even people in her comment section were calling her out for gaslighting as well. So this is what Monique had to say to the daughter. Monique says, hey, young sister, thank you for the invitation for discussion. We would like to take you up on it because it would be very healing for our community. Have at Real DL Hughley set up a time for you and your family and my husband and I to come on his show and we will go from there. I love us for real. So that was some gaslighting if I've ever seen one. And the top comment on her page says this. It's by a lady named Tiffany Monique. She says, this is the most gaslighting rhetoric I've ever seen. Stop, sis, please. Love and respect. Get whoever is in your ear out and stop. So that's what somebody was telling Monique. And, you know, to me, the whole situation and her blasting DL's daughter, you know, to me was disgusting. I talked about that in the previous video. Y'all can go ahead and watch that. Well, now DL is finally addressing it, and he went in. So DL took to Instagram, and he stated the following. He says, unbreakable, the final straw and the last breath I waste on a monster so heinous they would try to open a wound and weaponize a young woman's past personal trauma. That young woman happens to be my daughter and it ends today. Daryl Lynn Hughley, hashtag Team DL. Little note from the GED section. Then he goes on to post his rant that he did on the radio about Monique. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Where uh, it, it... I was doing the interview and I uh, detailed my daughter's uh, sexual trauma. Uh, Monique has taken uh, that video and perverted it for her own uses. She's decided to add her own narrative. I will only say this, and I'm answering this now, uh, in response to a request from my daughter, who, who, of course, over the weekend was crying, of course, having her trauma, tried it out in front of the world in a situation she had nothing to do with that doesn't have anything to do with a contract would be traumatizing to anybody, particularly when it's from somebody who claims to love us for real. Um, but she, uh, she proceeded to talk about how I let a man touch my child, which nothing could be further from the truth. They were both 13 years old. They were boy, they were, they were friends that had grown up together. She told me about it years, uh, later. And when she told me about it, I, um, and, and this is something I lament to this day, denied that she, I said, well, you know, that's what kids do. Now that was my estimation of it. It was not her interpretation of it. She was hurt by that. And I I will never forgive myself for not A, believing her and, and B, handling it the way I did. But for Monique, A, to put a man in that room, which never happened, and B, to bring up sexual trauma in an argument that has nothing to do with what you're talking about is unconscionable. My, my daughter Tyler addressed it, my daughter Ryan addressed it with her in a letter. And the thing that I was most proud about in the letter is not only that she held her held high because she's, she's supposed to. The other thing is she said, there are legitimate things you could have gone after my father about because my children know exactly who I am. They know, they know that I'm not perfect. They know that I'm flawed and none of them would have a problem with you assailing things that are really true. But you and your husband putting a man in my daughter's room and that is not what I said and weaponizing and using in a trite argument shows exactly how low you are. You are a monster. You literally are. You didn't play Precious. You, let, you didn't play Precious's mother. You let her out. You stopped pretending to be human and you won a role for being exact. You won a grand, uh, Oscar for being exactly who you are. Who says they love women and are there for women and protect the babies and would trot out someone's sexual trauma just to use in an argument? I don't know anything about you. I know that what happened to you uh, when you were a child, what happened to you uh, when you were growing up, those things are, 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 are traumatic to you. And I would never bring them up. Never. It would never occur to me to do it because that's not where I live. That's not what I do. You have had this argument or this show be about everything it was about a contract it was not it was about an insult on the radio state uh, on my radio station the question never aired you know it never aired and you continue to have this and then you have the temerity to answer my daughter's letter with a with, with an invitation to come on my show i will never let you on my show never you will never talk to my children i will never have anything to do with me you do not exist 
Maybe leaving my children out of your mouth will leave you room for the food you love so much. Look, you can continue to do whatever you want to me. That is that is that is fair game. I'm in this business for you and your husband to continue to do things like this. You have already first it was a contract. You've you've attacked everything. My the dog, my wife, now my children. Enough, enough. You do not exist to us. You you don't get to break my family. You don't get to do that. I don't know if you ever had a man who loved you as much as I love my children. I don't know if you've ever had anybody who's standing in your stead because the man next to you damn sure ain't doing it. All he's doing is wrecking what's left of the rubble of a career that you're pretending to build, tr but trying to build back. Leave my children alone. Stay with me and we're fine. You're a horrible woman. You love women like Ike loves Tina. Now that girl over there, who I shouldn't call you a girl, this woman over here, you know one thing for sure. I love you. And I'd never let it. And I'm your daddy for real. And you don't have to pay me for it. <laughs> One day, I hope that you're happy and you can stop being such a miserable, low human being. Maybe one day you will get to be as small as you often act. That's a little note from the GED section. we got the jazz report coming up in 15 minutes. All right, y'all. So y'all just heard what Dio had to say. And when he said, may you one day be as small as you act, I fell the hell out. He definitely has some punchlines in there. He also says, maybe leaving my children's name out of your mouth will leave room for the food. <laughs> for the food that you love so much. I said, you know what? DL ain't playing with Monique. He ain't got time for her nonsense. You know, the whole situation to me is sad that it's gotten this far. Again, this is why I say I believe this was never about a contract dispute. Like I said, when everything first came out, the way it was spun by Monique was as if D.L. Hughley attacked her backstage and told her she'll never be a headliner and she'll never, you know, be that girl. You know, she made it seem like he just totally disrespected her. She has spun narratives that are just not true. He never spoke to her. He never, you know, he saw her backstage, but they never communicated. You know, she came in late. He was on one side. She was on another. She never walked up to him and said that there was an issue with the lineup. Nothing was ever said. Yes, she gaslighted everybody when that video went viral to make it look like she was being, you know, attacked. And then come to find out it wasn't. So once the truth came out, yeah, I'm going to change my stance because I'm not going to support the fuckery just because you're a woman. You know, I just think that this is bullshit what she's doing and the fact that she's continuously trying to gaslight her fans. So after DL posted his rant, she then took to social media and she posted an old video of DL on the Dave Letterman show. And basically DL is talking about nappy headed hoes. It was during the time of Serena Williams. And then let's face it, you know, he called them hoes, uh, uh, nappy headed hoes, and, and they weren't hoes. But it was some nappy headed women on that team. <laughs> Shut up, I'm gonna say it, I don't give a damn, y'all like it or not, you know it's true. Them are some of the ugliest women I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> and so she says this. Tell me what part of this was funny. This is classic D.L. Hughley. Cruel for no reason. The only thing that I ask some black women is how do you protect a black man who not only won't protect you, but he'll recklessly attack you too at D.L. Hughley. I love us for real. The thing that's bothersome about this is, one, a lot of comedians back then, you know what I'm saying? Back then, comedy was comedy. People said all types of reckless shit back then, including Monique. Okay, I can pull up clips of Monique saying all types of reckless shit about skinny black women. For I remember in junior high, I really didn't like her because she was always saying that skinny women are evil. And so when you're skinny and the first thing people would say to you is, you fucking evil skinny bitch, they got that from Monique. So, Monique, you said a lot of foul shit, too, when you were younger. Fuck your skinny ass. Look at her shaking because you hungry, bitch. Get a two-piece and a biscuit. Fill your old skinny ass up. Big girls, it's our motherfucking time to shine. Fuck that big women. If you sit next to a skinny bitch, take your fist and hit that bitch in the top of her motherfucking head. You skinny bitches are evil and you need to be destroyed, goddammit. Now fast forward 20 years later and now you want to be a skinny bitch. Girl, bye. Okay. 
So again, a lot of people said a lot of bullshit in comedy in their early years. Things that you would find offensive now, things that would not be politically correct now, things that you'd be canceled for now. People would consider that, you know, skinny shaming, anorexic shaming. Um, you're inciting women to abuse other women. So we can spin this narrative. We can go through everybody's old comedic shit and spin different narratives to get them canceled. So Monique, just, just stop. OK, just stop. You said a lot of foul shit, too, about black women as well when you were younger. So did a lot of these black male comedians. OK, but my issue is this. She keeps pulling up all this old video. She's weaponizing the, the trauma video on the Sway show. Now she done dug up this old video of David Letterman. So my thing is, if D.L. Hughley was this horrible person. OK, and he doesn't protect black women. Why were you willing to get a bag with him? See, this is what I say when I say that all money's not good money. Because now, sis, you look compromised. Because none of this stuff is new. You're not pulling any new video that we haven't seen of DL. You knew his character, right? And if it bothered you so much, why were you willing to go on his show and fight to be a headliner? It makes no sense. Why not say, no, I'm cool. You said dispersion things in the past about black women. I'm straight. I know my value. I don't want to mix my brand with you. No, you chose to take it. You chose to take that bag. And now you want to turn around and throw shit in his face. This is just weird to me. None of it makes sense. On top of that, you keep talking about how this man has disrespected black women, but then you're praising 50 Cent. From one black woman to that beautiful, pure hearted black man and let me be clear i'm saying curtis 50 cent jackson is of pure heart so when y'all get to talking about oh 50 you next oh that's a man that's a king he's of pure heart baby and he's principled see we have conversations offline and people got to saying she ain't thank 50 she ain't said nothing to 50 we don't have to have our relationship online and that brother ain't said nothing. When people tried to turn that thing into something ugly that it was not. So again, for you, brother, Curtis. We love you. We love you. 50 Cent literally worked on a, one of the most popular shows, made tons of money with Notori Naughton, who was a beautiful, dark-skinned woman, and he still had no problem clowning her, comparing her to, you know, these horrible memes, making fun of her hairline. You know what I'm saying? Notori did nothing to him, and 50 Cent roasted her for no reason. And you could tell she was hurting her response like, damn, 50, what did I do to you? All we did was break bread together. Why are you, you know, allowing your fans, why are you clowning me and allowing your fans to disrespect me? It's funny that she has all this praise for 50 Cent, but she has all this energy and anger towards DL simply because he did commentary on her. Simply because he had an opinion about the whole Netflix situation like the entire internet did. The thing is, this woman is constantly doing commentary on everybody else. So why is she beyond reproach? If you're going to be a commentator and have a podcast and have an opinion under the sun, you then cannot get in your feelings when you are the topic of conversation. This makes no sense. So her posting this old video of D.L. Hughley, I could care less because it's not new. And it makes you look worse because you actually went on tour with the man. You actually did a show with the man. None of us have. I don't know D.L. So it doesn't make me no difference. You went and got a bag with him knowing supposedly this is how he, you know, thinks about black women. So that says more about you, Monique, than anything. I'm over the gaslighting at this point. If I don't see through this nonsense, I don't know what else to tell y'all. Like I said, I want Monique to win. I think that, you know, she's wise in certain instances. She drops some gems in certain instances, but she also comes off as very angry very manipulative and very bitter at times. And I think the problem is, you know, for a while I didn't really want to blame her husband because she's a grown woman, just like I don't really want to blame Jada for certain things because Will's a grown man. But I really think her husband, okay, is gaslighting a lot of this situation in the background. He is her cheerleader and he's not cheering her on in a good way. You know, she needs to figure out something because she's mad at the world when she really should be mad at herself and whoever did that contract. This is not about a contract dispute. This is about ego. This is about vendetta. And this is about, you know what I'm saying, just being low down dirty towards innocent black women who did nothing to you. DL's daughter did nothing to you. DL's wife did nothing to you. Hell, the damn dog ain't do shit to you and you drug the dog, okay? 
So, child, let me know y'all's opinion on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning my sweet baby, Monique. What do you guys feel about D.L. Hughley's response to her and his rant? And how do you feel about Monique continuing to steal gaslight and pull up old clips of DL and using this as a way to get people to cancel him, even though she had no problem knowing about these clips and still getting a bag with him going on that comedy tour? This situation is just insane. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you guys are still subscribed to the channel, honey. Also, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you share the video. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.